like when you're in your 30s, it's time to settle down. But I feel like if you're not settled down by your 30s, you should redo it because you can approach it. Yeah, in until a much when? But what if way. what if you're in your 50s? But no, not. I, I think you can have all phase at any time. Welcome back friends, it's your girl Jasmine aka Jazzy Jet Sets and I am bringing you expat life in South Africa, travel chronicles, crazy conversations on identity and day-to-day -day life, so basically everything in between. We are at the gym, this is actually a Friday so I was fighting for my life but you didn't get much footage from there, but I just want to revisit that clip that you saw at the beginning of this video where I'm talking about having a whole phase at any given time I will just say don't let anybody shame you at whatever age you are if you are actively dating in the clip it might look like I was saying you should be settled down by in your 30s but that's not true I was saying that's what the expectation is is that you are settled down by your 30s but I feel like if you're not that doesn't mean you can't stop having whole phases we probably shouldn't call it that it's more so just like dating like like an adult but I will just tell y'all this listen okay my grandmother is 80 years old and let me tell you something she be having tings okay she be on the apps or on Facebook she don't be playing around and let me tell you something if I'm still single by the time I'm 79 like my grandma you best believe I'm gonna be in the streets baby I'm gonna be in the streets don't play with me anyway it was time for me to get these nails off these are my same birthday nails it was way too long. It was time to get rid of them. They were like beginning to be painful. You know how that can be. And Valentine's Day is coming up. So they had bubbly on deck for us. They also had candy, which was very sweet. The bubbly was pretty flat. That's why I look like that while I'm drinking it. But it's really the thought that counts. It's the thought that counts. So thank you, Sorbet. We love you. We appreciate you. Moving on. Now it is Saturday and I had to stop at Motherland Coffee because it was time to get some work done. So I was here for the first time and I wanted to just get a little bit of footage of the actual shop. It was very, very nice and I will be back. Apparently they have some of the best coffee in Joburg and I'm not really a coffee girly so I can't really attest to that. But I can say their pink lemonade, bomb loved it let's move on to sunday i actually had a friend date which was like so much fun we went to create lone hill which is a ceramics painting cafe i didn't even know that this place existed and i didn't really know what to expect um we're both creatives so he suggested this place and i had never even heard of it before so i was in for a little bit of surprise i get there and first of all it's packed second of all there is a full bar and kitchen so you can literally eat drink and paint and do this like very fun creative activity which i feel like this is just the perfect option for a sunday brunch vibe you're doing all the things that you want to do at brunch you're having your bubbly you're having your actual brunch meal but you're also not required to just like sit across from each other and just look at each other and talk you actually have an activity that is basically going to allow the conversation to flow pretty freely which i really appreciate it because me and this person this was our first time hanging out one-on-one -on -one, and it was just really nice you know when you are like meeting new people developing new friendships sometimes it can be awkward you don't really know what you want to do um and you know you might not want to go to brunch you might not want to go to dinner you might want to do something that is just a little more fun and lighthearted. and that's exactly what we did we had a 9 30 appointment why are we taking tequila shots tell me why because we're both unhinged and that makes for a great foundation for a friendship i will just say that you arrest me if I give you As you can see, I'm very indecisive. I can see. <laughs> you said it's public holiday. We just said that. Exactly, it's a public holiday tomorrow. Okay, but I know, but one day you can die today, you know that. I'm trying to figure out what's easy. I'm going to be. If you put too much paint into bubble in the oven, it might crack as well. So to avoid that, I'm going to ask you to. So after they shamed me for wanting a salad, we got our instructions and then it was time to get down to the activity.
too. This is the bubble um, sh um technique. OMG, this is so cool. it's like when you're in your 30s it's time to settle down but i feel like if you're not settled down by your 30s you should redo it because you can approach it yeah in until when but what way. if what if you're in your 50s but no not i, I think you can have all phase at any time it just in your 50s it depends on the season in your life so say if you're 50s but you got divorced recently that doesn't mean you need to go out and find another wife immediately i think that would be a terrible idea even if you are in your 50s i hear there you are people in their 50s who are single I hear you. Yeah. Now that's not to say you need to forever until you're 65, no, but I do. Okay, so once you're done with your paintings, you actually have to wait for a few weeks before you can pick them up so that they can properly dry and be ready. Now let's move on to the second part of this Sunday fun day, which I, again, was not expecting, but had the most fun. So this place is called Dreambox and it is a creative content studio. Now let's just pause because I want us to take a moment and just celebrate the fact that this person is a new friend of mine. He heard my interests and they was like, you know what? You might like this place. We should go here. That is the level of energy I'm expecting from men who actually want to date me. Like it's the minimum. It's, it's the minimum. Like, please stop playing with me. Look at me. I was like a kid in a candy store, okay? Like this was so much fun. So like I said, it's Dreambox, a creative content studio. It was about 165 Rand for each of us to get in and we had one hour to go through the entire studio and basically like take all of the content that we wanted. And I kind of feel like you don't even really need the full hour or you definitely don't need more than an hour. So I felt like it was perfect. So let's get into some of the actual like rooms slash boxes that they had decorated. I think there were about 14 or 18 of them. I clearly did not go in every single one, but I had myself a fun time. I literally saw a family taking like a family photo while we were in here. I also just want to use this time to say let's normalize more platonic friendships between men and women. Like this entire day we just laughed, we took photos and videos of each other, and we just talked a lot about like the men and women in our lives that we were dating. Like we really just had a great time chopping it up. I like one of his homeboys so he was giving me to scoop on him. So yeah, let's normalize these types of friendships because they can be very yeah, fulfilling. <laughs> 
I'm into it. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> you can find me in the club. I don't know why. <laughs> That's what it's giving. Yeah, in the club vibes. Wow, there's so many mirrors. <laughs> you could get very dizzy in here. Exactly. Like this is one of those rooms where the kids would run into the mirror <laughs> by accident. Maybe that's that thick. That's th <laughs> Hands on your knees. <laughs> Shake the <that. laughs> Okay. No, this is so good. I no, just you... want photos. I don't want, I, don't, I can't I'm, I'm the that... music one. No, I need you to I sing. I have no musical ability. I need you to sing hands on your knees. <laughs> hands on your knees. <laughs> Bands that make better. What's, what's that song? Bands that make better dance. Yes. That one? Bands that make better dance. And then lastly, while we were here, we stopped by the poor house because we saw this like Aperol spritz tower and we were like, we see, it seems like we need that. But um, we got inside and there were actually just a ton of like vendors and shops, wine shops, food, literally everything that you could think of. But I will say that it was a Sunday and it wasn't that crowded as you can see from the footage as I'm like walking to go and sit down in my seat. It was not that packed, but the service sucked. <laughs> sucked massively. And you know, honestly, sometimes you just really can't get around it. It was not much to complain about. Literally, the day was like so fun and cool. Then we decided to go inside to see some of the other shops and figure, you know what, we're going to come back here another time because it does seem like it would be something fun to do. And we're back with another Monday in the gym because obviously hashtag never miss a Monday. I was just thinking that this session and the way that my body looks and how active I am, I'm pretty proud. It looks really good and I feel like I look like a proper like gym girly. I go all the time. This is what I do. And if you have been watching my vlogs, any of them, you will know that that is not the case. I am not a pro at this, but I do feel like my body is getting stronger. On the other hand, I also feel like it's not. <laughs> I was talking to my trainer the other day and I told him like, you know, I just feel like w once I do one exercise, something starts hurting. Like, have I, have I hurt myself? Have I sprained something? And he was just like, no, Jasmine, that's with age. With age, any little thing that you do, your body is like, whoa. Don't get crazy now. So I think that's something I'm just coming to learn to accept, which has been a little bit hard as someone who stepped in undergrad, as someone who was a cheerleader in high school. I'm just used to like naturally being fit and now I be having back problems. Guys, it's crazy. Aging is crazy. But anyway, let's move on. Another funny thing about the gym, the single girlies know that the cuties really be at the gym. Like they be in there. It's a good place to go, you know? But my trainer was telling me like, yeah, obviously Jasmine, there are a ton of guys who always ask me about you and they think you're attractive, but I don't think they come up to you and talk to you because you always look like you're dying after each set. Guys. <laughs> It's so true. I literally will like fall out onto the ground. I will hide behind a pillar. I will literally run away. I'm breathing, dying, okay? And I just feel like good. Do not walk up to me and try to talk to me when you see me fighting for my life after a set. Are you crazy? You're doing the right thing. Keep it on the playground. <laughs> 
Anyway, it's back to the rest of the week. It's Valentine's Day, so of course, beautiful flowers everywhere. I wanted to quickly show you all my favorite Chipotle dupe in South Africa. Basically, it's the exact same thing as Chipotle, but of course, with very different flavors, I will say. But it allows me to get my same like burrito bowl vibe that I would get if I was back home, and that really makes me feel like home is with me. And not to mention, the cost is like five bucks, so I really appreciate that. So this is Chiapas, the South African version of Chipotle. I don't know if i can call it that but just know i miss you chipotle moving along the rest of the week was not that um exciting so now it is friday and we have a full weekend ahead okay so let me give you a little bit of asmr as i am doing some of my weekly maintenance
Come on. very proud of that segment of the video i finished the gym as you can see i looked a little more disheveled than i did on monday so let's not even talk about that then i made my way to sorbet when i tell you i've been needing a pedicure for way too long it was really time love sorbet they always have bubbly ready for your girl so that was fantastic and i saw my favorite girl and when i tell you I, I don't even know how to describe the level of tender loving care that my feet needed and it's exactly what I got. I don't really usually do my nails at Sorbet, but I do love their pedicures, so I feel like this is where I will come forever. And I have been in SA for about four years, and I have not wavered from Sorbet, and it has done wonders for me. They never disappoint. Um, but I know a lot of people who actually get their nails and everything done at Sorbet. I also do like waxes here, just really good. And also there are tons of Sorbets. I only go to the one in Melrose Arch. Um, <laughs> and you know, some people think that's crazy. They're like, dude, you go all the way to Melrose Arch if you are in like Santon. And it's like, yes, I do. Of course you already know it's Friday. So I have to get my lamb curry from my Durban lady. And, you know, the other day she actually made, so she usually does this lamb curry with potatoes, but the other day she actually made a lamb curry with cabbage. When I tell you it reminded me of the Liberian food that I've had in Jersey, I was like, girl, don't tell me you can make this, okay? But I tasted it and I feel like it definitely does not taste like the Liberian food, so I decided to stick with the lamb curry in the potatoes it's not bad it's just not really my vibe but it made me miss home for sure then of course we had to go see my boo doo, -doo and get my threading done when i tell you when i do my threading i literally leave feeling like a completely new person and most people know that for people or women who like grow hair in this area it's usually very much hormonal and i feel like that is totally the case with me especially considering all the other things that i have going on with my body like fibroids and things like that so i'm gonna do this every week it's out of control So yeah, that is what we devoted the rest of our Friday to, tackling this hair. So let's get into these boho braids, okay? So I got these done at the end of December before going to Nigeria. I used human hair. I had some like leftover human hair from before and then I bought an extra pack. But the actual style itself requires so much maintenance that sometimes it feels like it's not even worth it. And you see some people on social media who keep their boho braids in for like 
two or three months. Mind you, this is like mid-February and I got them done at the end of December. So I think I may have had them in for like a good month and a half. And I'm just like, this was way too intense. Number one, I feel like my braids were too big. Not the actual braids themselves, but the parts were just too big. And I feel like with my hair texture, my parts need to be small so that they can be neat for longer. Then on top of that, every single day you have to wet them. Every single day. Every single day you have to wet them. There were points when I was in Nigeria, you know, it's super hot and I would like wet the hair and maybe an hour after being outside, it's dry now. So the braids are like really puffy and poofed up, which it's not a bad look, I don't mind. But it's just like, wow, the level of maintenance that it requires. So then my um, stylist was also telling me, you know, even though you're wetting the hair every day, you also need to add conditioner to it every day as well. So I don't know, I just found, and then on top of that, it was shedding like crazy. Everyone's house that I went to, every place that I went to, I just found myself cleaning up hair after myself. I loathe people's hair being around and just in my eyesight. I think it's so disgusting. I literally can't stand it. So being that person for the month and a half, it was really killing me. I've seen this fro in a while. Mm. Hey girl. So I have been dog sitting for the last week. Um, and this is my nephew, Archie. He is a ball of fun and excitement. And child, I feel like I was watching a child for a week. This was not easy, okay? Okay, now we can go. Okay, don't, oh my God. Oh, okay, wait, Archie, I don't have no bra. <laughs> okay, hold on, Archie, Archie. Hey, hey, slow down. Jesus. Jesus. Oh my lord. Wow. I feel like I should be singing. Look at my life, life's golden. <laughs> My hair needs a serious trim and some serious TLC as well. Anyway, it's Sunday and very excited to go hike Cradle Moon. Had no idea what I was getting myself into and I would just say this hike kicked my ass. But it was beautiful upon arrival. Like as soon as you start the hike, you see some zebras. Like it was amazing. I won't do too much talking over this because I just feel like you should just check out the hike and see everything that I saw along it instead of me complaining about how it took four or five hours out of my life. And
hike and time in nature, but I was so exhausted. I don't know how I got myself up to go to the gym on Monday. As you can see, I'm even moving slowly. Also, as you can see my hair, we got these French braids going on. Yeah, so the hair is dry. It's really dry. I've been keeping it in braids since I've lived in SA. And that's mostly because I haven't found any like proper natural hair salons who I feel like can really take care of my hair. So I really just get my treatments and trims and stuff in between visiting home in America. And I feel like that's just not sustainable. So as you can see, the hair is super dry. So I end up having to like wet it multiple times throughout the day and put moisturizer on it. So anyway, I found a salon. I'm going to go to them and get a treatment and I will update you guys on how that goes. It's called the blush hair bar. So let's see. Anyway, this is Monday. I'm heading tomorrow to get my hair done. So I just really want to take it out and give it some moisture and a little bit of water as well. Now we are here at Tuesday. I am so upset because it took so long for me to get to this point to get my hair done. That's why I'm looking crazy, but we blew it out and now we are heading into the braids. I totally forgot to take an after picture, but you will see it in the next clip because now it is hump day and we are back at the gym. And this was definitely another one of those gym sessions that made me feel very strong and proud of my body. Hopefully you can also see just like the different angles of my hair and you can get a sense of what my hair actually looked like <laughs> since I didn't show it to you after. Um, but yeah, I was just thinking that this day in the gym, it was very hard, but I felt like my body is definitely used to doing these movements um and I just I don't know I just find it fascinating that I don't feel that way every single day that I'm at the gym it's only sometimes sometimes I feel like pure shit but <laughs> we move right so yeah here's the other side of the braids again I was very happy with them I was just very upset at how long it took for me to get them done as you can see they're very small just like straight back long braids in the back it's time to head out and we actually ended up getting stopped by one of the like biggest roadblock, security roadblocks that I've seen in Joburg since I moved here. This was massive. I'm talking, there were like cameras out. There were so many police cars, so many other authoritative cars. I don't know what was happening, but they said they were looking for like stolen vehicles or something like that. And I'm just like, Joburg, y'all really be out of control, okay? Thursday is here, which is my favorite day of the week. I don't know if I ever shared that with y'all. It might be like weird, but... I love Thursdays. And I called Bolt. I just started reusing Bolt again because it's cheaper than Uber. I had no idea that I was ordering this little small car. I can't remember the name of it, but this was the smallest moving vehicle that I've ever been in besides a tuk-tuk, which I was in when I was in India. And I was thinking like, you know what, Jasmine, don't just cancel. You know, you ordered it, so write it out. Okay, let me give you some of the some of the things that I took away. Number one, you feel every single bump. Every single bump on the road, you feel it because of how small this vehicle is, okay? Then, number two, it is quite loud. It's The vehicle itself is quite loud. Number three, very small as well. Number four, very slow. Every single car on the road was passing us, but... That's okay. And I would just say it was not that much cheaper than getting a regular car. So yeah, I definitely ordered this little like um, car by accident, but I didn't want to cancel and decided, you know, let's try it out for once. And so yeah, that gives you a better look view of how small it was. It was so cute though, but never again. Then Friday came along and I got to see one of my old DC colleagues. And this was so amazing. We actually ended up going to 44 Stanley, the girls that get it, get it. And I just love when people come and visit Joburg and I have the opportunity to see them in this element, in this city, in this country. It's just so beautiful. And then Saturday Where? Oh, at the wall. 
Okay, so this is the City Beach in Brom, and they are also part of like the playground market. So if you actually go here and have tickets to go to the City Beach, you get into the playground for free. So we actually popped over there midway and then came back. This was a cute little vibe in the city, supposed to be a beach vibe, literally sand on my feet. <laughs> I'm sure you all know by now from watching my vlogs that Saturdays in Johannesburg are just packed with any and everything that you can think of. There's literally always something to do. I feel like it definitely reminds me of New York City. So I don't know. I just feel like the playground is always a perfect choice. And the actual city beach, it was cute, but it's more so nice to go to once playground is over and the evening sets in because it's beautiful. And another Monday, never miss a Monday. And enough of the gym talk, honestly, I will just say, I just realized I didn't say anything about Valentine's Day in this vlog and Valentine's Day was completely a part of these dates and skipped over and let me just keep it 100 percent authentic with y'all your girl ain't have no valentine and i didn't want one so i actually just ended up hanging out with one of my creative friends who you will like see what i've been working on with him in one of the clips coming up but yeah my valentine's day was very much like chilled friend vibes which i was totally fine with i am really just like over the dating apps, I deleted them and I've decided I'm going to like focus on myself. You know how people, they start talking about, yeah, I'm gonna just focus on myself. <laughs> that's, that's the stage I'm in. I'm just focusing on myself, trying to get this body right, trying to get my career in order, trying to get my money up, okay? Like that is where I am whenever it comes to dating. So Valentine's Day 2024 is the first Valentine's Day where I spent it actually like not with someone in a romantic capacity and I'm totally fine with that. These are just a few views of Ben Moore and then I head back to Monroe's Arch because one of my MBA professors from Darden is actually in Joburg with a few of the executive MBA students. So she called me up and wanted to hang out and I was so excited. She has really seen me at some crazy stages in my life, child. Um, <laughs> but these are the students who came to visit. They all decided to go to Proud Mary and they invited me to have dinner with them, which was very sweet. And when I just, listen, Proud Mary going here every time. Proud Mary going here every time. And it was just really nice to see them and just hear about some of their careers, what they're doing, what the job market is like, what the actual school's program is like these days. So yes, then we are back onto the gym vibes. It's Wednesday. This is one of the days in the gym when it's like, what am I doing here? Look at how slow I'm moving. I could have sped this up for y'all, but I needed y'all to see it ain't always rosy. I will say though that the gym is the one thing that has kept me mentally stable <laughs> over the last like year. Um, as you know, being an entrepreneur, being a creative, trying to succeed in the content creation and digital creation space is not for the faint of heart. It's not for the weak. It takes a different level of beast. And sometimes you just feel really defeated. And I feel like the month of February, I have been feeling that way. But the one thing that has really kept me going is being in the gym. And I'm just like, girl, I never thought I would be that person. Like, oh, the gym is just really keeping me helping with my mental health. Crazy. Anyway, let's get into Mabonang, okay? Because this is a place that I have been frequenting a lot in the last couple of months with one of my creative friends. And I have just been blown away by how, number one, how great this cafe is, but number two, how popular it is and who it's popular amongst. Like this is a very in the cut spot in Joburg. It's called the Bertrand, the Bertrand and 
everyone who visits it loves it okay like it's this very cool creative like eclectic spot they have like live jazz um some days sometimes they have karaoke the food is pretty decent they have decent drinks and it's just in a really good spot in Mabune. when the executive mba students came from darden this week they told me like Oh, we went to this place called the Bertrand in Mabuneng. I'm like, how do y'all know about that place? That place is for creatives, okay? I was actually really proud that they like actually found that. But I just have really fallen in love with this place. It's just very charming. It's nice for like business meetings. This is what I was doing this day, having a business meeting and having food. And again, like I said, the food is quite decent. You like literally cannot complain about it. I literally get the same thing every time as you can see. If you haven't been to the Bertrand, you really need to go. And then it is time to head out and leave Mabuneng. I really love this view. I actually stopped coming to Mabuneng for a while. I won't get into it in this video, but if you really want to know why, you can go to my TikTok and see my version of who the F did I marry, <laughs> which I changed to who the F was I dating, and you'll see why Mabuneng I stopped frequenting here. But I really love it, and it's such a great place for creatives. So that is something that I'm definitely tapping back into this year as well. Another thing that I told myself at the top of this year was that I wanted to surround myself by more creatives and as soon as I put it into the universe guys as soon as I said it I walked into 420 cafe and ran into this creative guy now I met this person on a dating app we went on one date now we have been hanging out in a more friendship capacity and a collaborative capacity and he had told me about this really cool store that he wanted to open up but i thought he was crazy not gonna lie like i couldn't really see the vision it was like a coffee shop a grocery store i was just like what that's too much it doesn't make sense like wh what are you talking about so i've been working with him over the last few weeks and month look at how this place has come along i'm going to do a full video once it's completely done and the grand opening happens this weekend but just check out what it looks like now this is just someone bringing their own vision to life literally thought the vision in his mind drew it up he would tell people we all thought he was crazy and then once it started coming together i started seeing the vision and i was like whoa this is insane. So I'm actually really excited to be helping out with this project. It's allowing me to get in my creative bag a little bit more as well, but I'm also working in more of like a consulting capacity. So helping with like the operational stuff, helping with the logistics and the execution, also helping with like some administrative stuff. So I really like doing this kind of work anyway. So it's very cool. Anyway, so I'm just really this excited. This is my project, the bathroom area. I'm gonna put a mirror here, I believe. And then maybe like a paper towel dispenser here. And then this will be the men's side. Just kidding, this is the women's side. Um, let's see. Yeah, this is the ladies. This is the men's. Okay. So, you know, it's pretty bare. I think we need to put a little something right here. And a little something maybe here. Um, do that. And so now we are just getting prepared for the grand opening, which is happening on the 2nd and 3rd of March this weekend. And I'm really excited. I will be doing the decor in the bathroom area. So I have some ideas. I will be showing you a before and after. I'm probably going to do a full on like YouTube video of the transformation of this place. And I will maybe do a video interviewing the creator as well. So yes, I've just been having a really good time working on this. Thank you so, so much for watching this full video. I feel like I had a lot going on in it. So if you took this long ride with me, I so appreciate you and would love to hear from you in the comments and stay tuned for my next vlog. Can't wait to see you all. Bye.